We're here at Moonar Links on the open course. This is the seventh, it's a 149 metre par three, and with me is Chris Ancy. Chris, does being this tall help your golf? <laughs> it, it doesn't hurt it. It's, uh, I get a bit of distance on the shots, but uh, a lot of things can go wrong in the backswing. And what happens? Have you got longer clubs than I have? I, I, I do have longer clubs, and I've been told that I buy them from the same store as you, except I get mine from the men's section, you obviously get yours from the kids' section. That'll keep. <laughs> that will keep. 2012, 2013, your first year as a coach with the Tigers. How did it go? Uh, it, it went well. We, we didn't get where we wanted to be. We didn't make the finals. But, look, I learned a lot individually as a coach. We learned a lot about the group, and the group got to learn a lot about me. So the Melbourne Tigers is heading in the right direction. I'm, I'm really glad to be a part of the team I captained for five years at the end of my career. Well, and, and you're the transition from being a player to a coach. How did that go for you personally? It, it went well, and I think I found it as, as interesting or I took as much enjoyment as in the younger kids, uh, I guess, progression and success as I did my own towards, towards the end of my career. And I've travelled some amazing places. I've played in different countries, and I like sharing what I've learned over the years. And I've had a lot of different coaches, and I, again, I've, I've now got a team to share those, uh, those experiences with. How does golf help your basketball? It relaxes me. It, it, it enables me to switch off. It, it, it enables me to just uh, spend a good four or five hours with good friends. It lets me see the world. It lets me see different parts of the state. And uh, you know, I, I haven't played on an ugly golf course yet. So, you know, golf courses are a beautiful part of the world usually. Uh, there certainly is. Um, you know, when you're a celebrity like we are, big <laughs> celebrities, um, Vicious rumours sometimes abound, and, and there, well, there's a little bit of a rumour that, that you can get a Benancy, if you pardon the pun, <laughs> I, I see, on a golf I, course. I see what you've done. No, look, I, I, I have been known to throw the occasional club and drop Very the, occasional. Very, very occasional. Drop the occasional swear word, but I've, I've oh. mellowed out a lot. <laughs> Jeez, I hope you have, mate. Uh, I'm going to be the middleman in this argument, but a bit of the stepping stone or the linking piece. Chris, it's customary on Golf Getaway that we have a nearest of pen with all our celebs. Okay. You keen? I'm very, very keen, not very confident, but I, I'll have a crack. You, you've obviously heard about us. I, I have heard about you, and I, I, I've, I've heard you get them okay, so a little nervous. All right, mate, well, you go first, eh? Beautiful. And if you don't mind, Chris, after those rumours, I'll just stand a little bit. You go and do that. Now, make sure you keep your back straight, and good luck. Thank you, I think. Well, we all got on the green. Chris was long, why I'm not surprised about that. Just like I'm not surprised you're short. <laughs> it's not like, hey, Burra. God, uh, I, I, yeah, that, 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 that's not even funny or fair. That's... I'm going to live with the guy. Why don't you putt it out? I oh, will go and putt it out. Cheers. Slam dunk it, Chris. Slam dunk it. Just tap this one in for birdie. Well, didn't get the birdie, boys, but thanks for having me. Appreciate hey, listen, it. Closest to the pin are like national championships. They're not easy to they, win. They are not. I'll, I'll have another crack another time. Cheers, boys. Thanks for being thanks. on the show. You're welcome.